tapas house on steroids. Your first course, you're gonna come up and you're gonna visit our, our harvest table. Our harvest table consists of 18 different composed dishes. And I don't wanna say salads because they're not all salads. There's actually very few leafy green salads out there. We have a tuna and shrimp pokey. We have grilled asparagus, freshly grilled asparagus. We're very fresh and seasonal around here. We actually have uh, ancho barbecue deviled eggs. Um, deviled eggs, if you don't already know, is the number one hors d'oeuvre in France, in America, but why don't you ever see them except for grandma's house? But everybody loves them. They always see people with 10 or 11 of them on their plate. <laughs> we also have a cheese and charcuterie board. Our cheese and charcuterie board is 10 feet long, 2 feet wide, 6 different meats, 7 different cheeses. All of our cheeses are local, locally sourced. Iowa, Michigan, of course, Wisconsin. Um, I do have one that's not from the United States. It's an 1833 two-year age Barber Cheddar. And I was figuring if I was gonna put a cheddar cheese, it better be the best, best damn cheddar cheese on the planet. <laughs> so therefore, we went with the oldest cheddar makers in the world. They've been making cheddar cheese since 1833 in England. So that's why I have that. Some of the other specialty items I have on the charcuterie is we make our own duck pastrami. Big trendy thing in Chicago is duck prosciutto, which is just a cured duck. No, no big bells and whistles. Nobody that I know, except for myself, makes uh, duck pastrami. It's absolutely fantastic. We bring in the juniper berries and we crush the juniper berries and mix them with cracked black pepper. We brine the duck. We roast it off for an, about an hour just to get, get a little bit cooked on the inside and then we cure it for two weeks before we slice it. So you'll see that we make our own gravlax. Um, our, our, our own cu uh, cured salmon that is a brandy and peach schnapps cured salmon. Um, we pull our own mozzarella, so my guys are back there doing the old Italian thing with the mozzarella. Um, and then we have very two unique soups, and that's your first course. So again, there's tricks to the trade is you got to be very careful with that stuff because I know you're all hungry and you're going to go out there, oh my god, this looks good, and this looks good, oh, and this looks good, and this looks good, because it all does, and it's all very good. We have a linguiza sausage. Um, we kind of touch all the bases that get served with a horseradish honey mustard um, to try and cut the heat a little bit. It's kind of spicy and smoky. Of course, I'm going to say everything's best in my restaurant. Um, so the linguiza sausage is best. Um, but then we have a Moroccan chicken. The Moroccan chicken's marinated honey, cilantro, garlic, um, lots of coriander, cumin. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, and then we have a, a pan seared duck breast that has amaretto pistachio butter. We do a Asian style pork belly with a hoisin barbecue sauce. Um, and I don't have 12 fingers or toes, so I don't know if that was all of them. Here, you can literally come to Zed every day of the week and not have the same thing twice. Um, we're very, very passionate about what we do here. Zed isn't just about the food, it's about the hospitality. Um, we honestly are very concerned and very happy that you are here. We want, it's like we invite strangers into our house and they meet as friends. That's what we talk about here at Zed 451. I throw a party in my house every night. And this is the party. All right? Thank you. So good.